and then the uh, promo afterwards with the storytelling. Thought, did you did you like the the way that the uh, that all came off? Um, Jody Hamilton was convincing. He wasn't screaming. He wasn't getting too out of hand. He just pointed out some facts. Um, I don't know. Roma said the horseman needed him. He didn't need the horseman. That's that's and, fine. It, you yeah. know, it's it's whether it's believable or not. Uh, that's his slant. That's a heel slant. That's, that's fine. Right. You know, sometimes you take shortcuts to try to get some heat. That didn't bother me too much. I think I think Jody was was the uh, MVP of that promo, though. And uh, so there you have it. You mentioned it already that you really like this tag team together. They become mm -hmm. pretty wonderful. And uh, they go on to capture the world tag team titles in 1994. I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about that as we move into 94. But you've said it. You've actually even said it earlier on in this show that, hey, Roma, he just fits better with Orndorff. And, and we say it every week. You did win gold with five different partners, including Paul Roma, making you arguably the greatest tag team wrestler of all time. But why do you think Roma and Orndorff just work? Was it, You mentioned the look. But it, it just the chemistry. Do you think they have better chemistry than you guys did, or what was your thoughts well, there? They both got great bodies, and they both have a, a, I mean, skills. Even though they're they're babyface skills, coming off the top with a splash, coming off the top with a drop kick, just a drop kick that's flawless in the ring. All those skills, and then you put them on a, with a body like that. You know, to two good looking guys and just uh it's just a good package they look like stars because they are stars the the uh the duo of the pauls paul romo and uh paul Lorndorf. it just worked and uh and so there you go it's pretty wonderful 